children's killers you did it again you never fail to surprise us with how vicious your hearts are each time you seem you have grown more hard hearts than the time before twice twice you strike the helpless families coming from praying at St. Samuel Monastery in Egypt. I'm really amazed by the selection of your targets. Neither do you target locations of political significance, nor do you target those who have heavy armaments. It seems to me you are convinced that killing helpless Christians in their road to pray is a far superior feat than attacking soldiers. Obviously, you are so scared of these Christians. Obviously, they scare you to the extent that you not only strike once, but you wait and strike again on the same exact road. Do you remember a girl, Maria Yusuf? She was eight years old. Do you remember Mina Shokri? He is also eight years old. They were in the bus. You killed Maria and injured Mina. How many vulnerable women and older aged men did you attack on this trip towards the monastery? Did you keep an account of how many ladies you attacked and how many older men who were in the trip towards the monastery? Does each one of the lives you took count towards your reward in paradise? Do you think there is a true God who counts killing innocent children and women as credit? Friends, how did you do it? I mean, how did you actually open fire on these innocent people? Did you kill them first before the eyes of their mothers? Did you kill them first because you couldn't stand their screams? How did it feel after? I mean, do you still hear their cries waking you from your sleep? Or perhaps you sleep better because you have conquered an army. Yes, they are an army. An army that you and your other groups fear more than armies with tanks. They were an army holding crosses in their hands and printed on their wrists. They were an army did you see the weapons in their hands, so you fired first before they attacked you? 
Did you see the prayers and songs books opened? Did you hear their phones tuned into peaceful songs that they were singing along to before you attacked them? My friends, congratulations. You managed to kill innocent children and families going on a pilgrimage. Congratulations. You must be praised by your fellow friends telling you that you have done an amazing job. Believe me, my friends, you can keep trying, but you will not make us hate you. You may hate yourselves for accomplishing these unspeakable acts, but our Christianity makes us love you and pray for you because you are such sad, sad souls. We'll pray for you so the screams of the mothers asking you to preserve their children can be quieted. We'll pray for you so the cries of the little children can be tuned down. My friends, please know this. Your actions, albeit cowardice, strengthen our faith more than you can even imagine. The blood of those martyrs on the road to St. Samuel's Monastery is another pillar of our faith. Each drop you shed was picked up immediately by an abundance of angels and placed before the true judge, our God. He keeps a very accurate record of every single drop that has been shed and every single body that has been killed in order to grant them crowns. But also know this, our God, the true judge, also keeps a precise record of those who hurt his children, who attacked his body. You see, we are the body of Christ. We are so many members, but one body. We ache for these members which you have hurt and try to sever from our body. However, the body of Christ is never weakened by these acts. It only gets bigger and stronger with each blow you so proudly inflict upon us. My friends, we love you. No matter how badly you have hurt us, we will not become hateful people like you. Our Christian love is bigger than your hate. The cross of our Savior taught us to forgive those who hurt us because they don't know what they are doing. Friends, go about your ways. One day you will either know the true God or He will recognize you on the day of His judgment. When all the books are opened, all the deeds revealed, and all the thoughts examined, what a judgment yours will be when his judgment come upon you.